Oh, hello. It's a bright, sunny Sunday afternoon. It's in the upper 40s or lower 50s. Actually, it's right above 50 according to thermometer. It's above 50 according to the thermometer over there. Anyway, today I'm going to take it upon myself to start planting seeds and start sculpting seeds to get them ready for growing for this season. So I've got myself a seed starting tray. Uh, these these are kind of like a, um, styrofoam jiffy strips that are uh, supposedly biodegradable. They will de uh, biodegrade after a while. And you just basically put these inside the thing. I got some seed starting mix, some other larger cups if I decide I want to use those. And then I've got all these seeds and I've also made... I've also made tags to tag it all up with. I got a little bit of a bucket of a little bit of water. I've got the seed starting mix and I'm going to get started. First things first, I'm going to go out and I'm going to plant these plants here that uh, I can go ahead and plant. Um, I got a cosmic purple carrot and a rainbow hybrid carrot. And uh, believe it or not, I never knew this until someone else had pointed it out, carrots are actually not really orange. They are modified to be the color orange, but they actually come in a multitude of colors. And uh, anyway, uh, we're gonna plant them and see what they, what they taste like when they're not orange. I'm also gonna plant a little bit of spinach out here because uh, you know, you can plant spinach at this time of the year. The soil is 60 degrees, so that's a good planting temperature. I actually put another worm composting bin in here bought some more worms and put those in earlier today i've gone ahead and made my label for these uh one real quick thing i want to do is i'm going to try to dig up and see if i can get to my potatoes i put some potatoes down in here and oh yeah they're sprouting real good anyway i learned online that you want to actually you can actually split these up and plant them. Well, this one here is already going to town here. So I can split that up into two separate potatoes. These are potatoes from the supermarket that had gone bad. And so we decided that my wife handed them to me and said, hey, go put them in there and let me see never planted them before and then I looked on I watched the video and yeah, what I should have done is I should have split them up anyway along one side here I'm just gonna do two rows I'm gonna do a circular row here and a circular row here this will be the rainbow hybrid carrots first level things out here and then let me do a little angle row right here and another angle row out here so anyway those are the rainbow hybrids so I'm just gonna stick the tag in there so we remember what's there these are the carrot cosmic purples it says that uh, you need to basically, it takes 70 to 80 days to maturity. There are 500 seeds in here, and these seeds are good until 2022. So I'll do a plant in the early spring and then another one in the summer for the fall. And my cosmic purple friends are gonna be over here. And this particular spinach plant is actually of a container of a variety. So anyway, I'm just gonna put, make a couple holes. A couple there in the center. And we'll give this a good watering. Bloomsdale Longstanding Splant Spinach. So let me go ahead and put the tag on there. Okay, I've got a couple of the varieties of tomatoes. I've got a cucumber, a California Wonder Green Pepper, and then a bell color pepper mix. And then I'm gonna plant some Reuben, red Reuben basil. Um, but anyway, I'll start those in the seed trays. All right, so we've got our seed starting tray. 
and uh, these are these are called Jiffy Pots, and they are made of they call them 50 peat pots. So they basically are made out of a peat moss type material. Um, but anyway, they claw these things organic. I used them last year. One thing you do have to watch with them is they do mold. So you got to watch the mold that's on them. Um, and then once the plants get bigger, last year, like the tomato plants and stuff, I actually moved them into the bigger pot later on. Um, but anyway, uh, they come in a five pack. The tray holds five. So you end up with 10 rows of five to help me. Once I plant these, I've already made tags that I'll put down on, for the row of the plants. First things first, I've started with a bucket of water and this is just a rough guess. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this seed starting mix. It's made of peat moss, cocoa core, and vermiculite. And I'm just gonna pour this in here until it gets to this consistency that's needed. And what I'm doing is just basically working the water into it. It doesn't exactly soak it in. I'll need a lot more of that. I will probably go in to the next bag. So you want to have it so it's moist and it's wet, but it's not soaked. That's a little too soaked, so let me put a little bit more in there. Now what this cocoa core and this particulate does is it helps provide drainage, but it also holds the water so that basically the plants, if you treat it right, and you keep these this container moist, this container filled with water, it'll keep your plants moist. Alright, so now we're just gonna fill them up. I'm going to kind of push it down to make sure we get the air pockets out. Now I'm actually going to break off one of these. Anyway, this is just basically going to be a place to pour water in. We've got our, we've got our cells in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off, take off one set of glove and that'll allow me better control over the seeds. Anyway, for the base, I'm just gonna basically create like a little bump to pour the seed into, into every chamber. And that way, if one seed doesn't grow, you've got another one. But if they got both fertilize, then you'll just trim them off. So this one here is the Red Reuben Basil. So go ahead and stick a little card in here. So I'll do a set of cucumbers. These seeds are from last year. We'll go on a full sun, so four to five seeds over a half inch tall and three foot two foot across hill. Um, anyway, these things are going to grow pretty big. Um, this year what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a trellis. I ordered a bunch of plants this, this year from Gurney's that are already pre-built, that are pre-planted and stuff like that, so I'll be able to plant. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and plant some Roman tomatoes. These are from last year. Uh, I don't know if they will, uh, I don't know how well they'll do, because uh, the seeds are older, but uh, we'll give it a try. We got some Roma tomatoes right there. take what I have left and I'm going to go ahead and 
out these areas. I'm just gonna real quickly use a Dynamo labeler, label maker. Final candidate will be cherry tomatoes. Okay, well anyway, we're done. And we've got our, uh, we've got our uh, blocks labeled. I've got the basil red Reuben here. I got the cherry garden delight here. The muncher cucumber here. The bush beef steaks here. Tomato, uh, the crimson cushion beef steak tomato. Uh, California world, California wonder peppers here. Spinach here. Roma VF tomatoes here. Bell color pepper mixes with the purple peppers are here. So anyway, um, now I'm going to put uh, put this tray on a heat map. I've got it set for what I think will work. It's supposed to get down to 30 degrees tonight. All right, so I've got the heater set on 44. So when it comes on and when it gets down to 44, it's going to come on. Underneath here, I put a frost cloth up. Hello, it's April the 3rd, and it's a pretty nice and sunny day today. Um, just a real quick video to update progress. Um, as you can see, um, our uh, seeds are growing pretty good. Um, they, uh, I left them out and they got a little too cold, so they're not as happy as they normally would be, but I left them out and let them blow around in the wind a little bit. I relocated the strawberry plants uh, we had bought a bunch of strawberry plants, and I bought this stackable planter right here that are that people use for strawberries and stuff. So they're not very happy because they just got they just got uh, you know moved. These potatoes were just taking over, and I had put a potato in uh, a couple of these beds and stuff like that. So yesterday I actually moved these into these fabric holders and uh, I'm going to order more soil and stuff like that. These are five gallon holders. I've got a couple of 15 gallon holders that I'm going to move the potato plants to as they get bigger. Um, but the real reason why I wanted to show you this video is I wanted to show you the progress of our worm composting bins. Anyway, I'm amazed at how quickly this has actually turned into compost. And there's my little friends, my little red wigglers. But anyway, a lot of this stuff was greenery. And, uh, you know, there were leaves and there was paper. But look at how quickly this has turned to compost. This is less than a month. This was the last one that I had built. And uh, anyway, I'll put the date on there that I had built this one. But uh, anyway, you can still see the paper. You can still see the remnants of that um, but there were you know there were a little bit of leaves and stuff there's some leaves and some newspaper and everything else um, but and you can see the worms and everything else but these uh in uh, in bed composting bins really compost quickly I was kind of surprised by that this one here has a little bit more newspaper on there but again it's really, uh, really composted a lot faster than other, than the other composting bins that I've had. So, lose the, mix the paper down on the bottom there. Finally, the one here inside the greenhouse. Uh, this one here, you can still see a little bit of the remnants of the newspaper, but there's tons of worms in there getting getting busy and taking care of it anyway this is the largest of the bins outside we've got a couple carrot plants we've got some garlic that's growing um, i've planted some beets seeds just last week that are just starting to come up um, in here this bed was mainly taken over by potatoes uh, i planted a row of carrots another row of carrots another row of carrots another row of carrots um, when i dug the carrots out i've actually come back and replanted carrots all in here i plan to put a tomato a tomato maybe some peppers um, i had the strawberries here as a temporary area until i built the strawberry tower um, but anyway i had a potato plant and this spinach plant's not very happy 
because or and I'm sorry this is I'm sorry this romaine lettuce plant is not very happy because I just dug it up and moved it to get around all these potato plants that were right in here um, anyway broccoli broccoli spinach uh, we've got a, a gourmet blend of lettuce we need to start getting in and eating some salads uh, we've got some lettuce and some spinach right there but anyway this is growing out pretty quickly here um, I also went ahead and planted the rest of my seeds, uh, Rainbow Hybrid and Cosmic Purple. I planted these yesterday. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the quick update. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video on me planting the seeds. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And hope you have a better green thumb than I do.